getting another dog. All right, so we are <laughs> we are alive. It's car con carne. It really is quarantine con carne for the time being. I'm not driving anywhere, not getting in the car, not sharing food in my car with with strangers or relative strangers or old friends. Quarantine con carne, sponsored by C and H Financial Services. At some point, all this will pass, and we'll be able to walk back outside and go into restaurants and mom and pop shops. And if you are a mom and pop shop, if you are a restaurant owner. CNH Financial Services can help you. They can upgrade your business to the industry's leading point of sale system, which will help you streamline every aspect of your business for no cost. No cost till morning. Fantastic Chicago band. No cost. Visit free processing now or call 855 600 2437, extension 999, and start saving money today or sometime soon. All right. So I'm James. Over uh, to my right. To everyone's right. No, to my, yeah, to my right. It is the Parker brothers. It is Danny and, uh, I'm sorry, Devin and Pat over there. Danny What's is up, below. What's up, How's it going? I am just, I am out of sorts today. All right, so I'm going to take you back a little bit. Earlier today, the igniter in my oven just gave out. The last thing you want to do during a pandemic is go big appliance shopping. So, had a friend of a friend come over, got a new igniter set up, but Nice. Techn- technology and appliances, everything has just fallen apart. We have actually done this before. If, till morning, fantastic Chicago band, uh, if you're feeling a, t- a touch of, t- of deja vu, it's because we did this earlier tonight and my computer completely <laughs> bombed out on us and we have to do this again. But really, the second time second is time's a charm. The second time is a charm. Yeah. Uh, and we are awaiting the arrival, the, the well, the, the much awaited arrival of Mickey, drummer Mickey. Uh, the drummers are usually good outside, at keeping time, outside, just not right yeah. now. Who knows where that guy is, you know? I, I want to say hi to Miguel. An igniter on someone's oven earlier today. So. I'm just out of sorts, man. Technology has thwarted me up and down. It, it really does feel like a Monday today. So thank you, Till yeah. Morning, for your patience. I, you know I love your band. So, uh, God, two years ago... I had you guys in my car back in the day when you could do podcasts in cars. Uh, yeah. Former band named Parker, you were still young and fresh faced, and now here you are, young and fresh faced, but as till morning. <laughs> yeah, we're Maxwell Street Polish. Uh, you can't go really wrong with the Maxwell Street. Uh, the the urine smell from '94 just kind of wafting up through the windows. Uh, but here you are. You just just this week put out a new song that I love and adore called "Okay." Thank you. Which has a great video to it. This is this is the kind of song, if you haven't listened to it yet, if you're watching this and are looking for something new to listen to, this is a summer song. This is, well, this is a spring. It's an all-season song, really, till morning. Uh, it's a roll down your window, sing along, pump your fist in the air. Holy crap, I love this kind of thing. Uh, Devin, you wrote this. This was... Pump it up. <laughs> pump it up. This was a relationship song. This was you coming to terms with what as as the boyfriend? Um, so this was when I was I was in a relationship and I felt kind of myself self sabotaging it the whole time. And although you know things were going great with it, if I felt myself always waiting for the next thing to go wrong or kind of um, backing out emotionally, and I kept trying, I kept telling myself while in the relationship, like focus on the little things. Everything you know, everything's okay. Don't freak yourself out. Um, well, kind of self-sabotage got the best of me and we did end up splitting up um it wasn't until a couple months later i was cleaning out my bedroom and i went my nightstand and i was cleaning that out and i found some notes and um some perfume my my old girlfriend the song was about she left her perfume in there and i sprayed it and i got super sad and i went over to this piano here and i wrote the song um and i didn't want it to be a sad song and i wanted to look back at it Mickey is in the house. house. Look at that. Look at that. Why did Mickey appear? Hi. Um, And I didn't want it to be a sad song. I wanted to look at it as don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. Um, And that's Which is a great line and a great life philosophy. That's glass half full. Yeah, absolutely. Forever the optimist. That's how the song came out. Like It is a a bop, what we've been hearing. And um, it's a positive song that gets energy going um in a relatable concept i love it and you did the video you recorded part of the video where you are right now in your place yeah you've got quite the you've got quite the man cave 
set up for yourself yeah. there, Devin. Hey, is that a, a Toreador behind you? Slaying a bull? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. I got some, oh, that little, I got some bull horns over there, and then I got a, a deer with no ears on my wall right here. It's painted white. It looks like a greyhound. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, drummer Mickey has just joined us. Uh, Mickey, I'm just going to apologize publicly. Technology is just fucked with me all day long. So thank you for doing this. Yeah. No, no worries. It, it's been... for a young for a young 22 year old buck like myself. <laughs> technology is a problem. I, can I can I share, Devin? So I, I mentioned that we had to start over here because again, technology is in my enemy. It is my foe. It is my Lex Luthor tonight. I reached out to you and said, "Okay, I, this the file's gone. We we can't. We have to redo this." Yeah. That was minutes after we stopped talking. It took that long, like literal minutes, for Pat to go be- go to bed. Like he was done. Like <laughs> in, in the amount of time it, it <laughs> took me. I was out. Man. I got to <laughs> bed. And he's like, "Shit, man, I'm in bed right now." And I'm like, "Yeah." I in the amount of time it took me to realize that the that we had to redo this, he was already lights out. Good night, nurse. He's like six blocks away. Was, yeah, I was already like in sweats halfway in the bed. I got up at like 5.10 this morning. I was like exhausted. Now, can you guys see the, the Facebook Live comments as they come over? I'm using a new platform. For no, this. where do we see that? I hit chat. Uh, no. uh, Maybe it's just oh, me. So, oh. so Lillian says, hey. Lots That's of ease. Also, lots that of is wise. also how I say that word. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 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 Till morning. hey. 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 So I, I asked this of every band that I have on quarantine, Con Carne. Uh, how are you guys holding up? As your We're good. Sheltering Doing good. Place? We're good. No one's I, losing I, their mind. I don't know what day it is. And for the, to that every, point, it doesn't matter. It's 420. Ah, that's right. What? Lace it up, Mick. Not in my house. <laughs> I, I still have PTSD. Years ago, I worked yeah. for another radio station in town. And it was the day I got fired. I got fired on 420, which is also Hitler's birthday and the anniversary of Col- Columbine. Um, wow. I remember all night people calling me on the request line. It's like, 420, dude. Blaze it, dude. All night. <laughs> Whenever I hear someone say, like, 420 or blaze it up, spark it up, bro, I get I, I get PTSD because that was the precursor of me being pulled into the GM's office and getting shit canned for no was, good reason. Was, oh, no. Was, was this 94.7 The Zone? Uh, this was Q101, 101.1 FM. Never heard of it. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> I, I know WKQX. <laughs> that was constant. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I, I wrote a book about it if you get bored and you're looking to tear through 300 um, pages yeah. of nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're all kind of having withdrawal from playing live shows. Um, that's something that we really love and, and love to do. And we, we did have a tour scheduled in April that had to get canceled. We have another one scheduled in May. That looks like that's canceled, too. So that is a little bit of a bummer, but we're trying to take um, every opportunity we have to build social content. So we're building up our YouTube page. So if you look at our um, at our YouTube page, you can see some behind-the-scenes things. We shared some acoustic videos on there. So we are trying to still um, keep it rolling. Still keep it rolling, yeah. yeah I mean, I, mean, I feel like the industry was going pretty online over the past, you know, um, 10 years, years for a while so yeah I, 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 musicians were kind of prepped for this oh yeah for sure yeah. but it is tough not being like you have this great new song okay i'm sure you want to just bust it out in front of a live audience i'm sure you're, you're dying yeah. to do that yeah uh yeah. the video which i i kind of talked about because it was recorded in part at your place love the video uh i i do want to acknowledge the presence of jillian mcgee from hi ho who plays a, a co-starring role she is the if you want to put it in Ozark terms, because I'm watching Ozark right now, uh, she is the Laura Linney to your Jason Bateman, Devin. Yeah. Yeah. She... I haven't watched it, but no, I, I have seen it. But I believe you, Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, she is, okay, she is the Scarlet Witch to your vision. She is the Peggy Carter to your Captain America. She is the... No, I, I, I like the Peggy to my Al Bundy. Is that She work? is the Peggy, Peggy to your Al Bundy. She is the Clea to your Doctor Strange. I can go... Far down this rabbit hole, you don't want me, you don't want me to do that. Hey, Will. <laughs> uh, Will Leary says, hey, boys. There's Will. To Aunt Viv, to your Uncle Phil. Hey, what's up, Will? And Liza also, Liza also points out that 420 is also Earth Day. It is. Which is a nice hey. thing. Also green. <clears throat> yeah. uh, Miguel says, can't wait to see you guys live. 
He may need to wait a little bit. I saw you live. I was lucky enough. I saw you in January. You opened up for Mest out in Tinley Park on what had to be the coldest day in recent memory. Loading out was fantastic. It was not windy at all. That's just Uh, it. It was one of those brutally cold days, and just that air, that that, that burst of wind made it. On your face. Uh Yeah, Yeah, that, that I can't breathe kind of cold. Uh huh. We had to keep running to the band van for I don't know what it was, but yeah, I remember freezing. Yeah, I don't, whatever. Yeah, it sucked. It was freezing. Hey, but inside was pretty hot though, hey? That's right. That's right. Uh, I want to say hi to Simeon. Oh, there's Simeon. Uh huh. What's up, dude? What's up? He is stupid rad. He uh, he got me really drunk on Saturday night. That was you do. Did you make it sound like it was some party? challenging thing he accomplished. And this kind of same. You know, online talk scenario. Nice. Where's your beer now, Mickey? I speak English. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So till morning, the new song is okay, but it it, it it's is more okay. than okay. It's it's beyond okay. It's right. superb. It's, right. it's fantastic. It's okay. <laughs> and for those, uh, if there there are people who are just joining, either listening on the podcast or watching on Facebook Live or on YouTube. Uh, this band was formerly known as Parker, in case there's any familiarity. Um, never Growing Old, the anthemic Never Growing Old started as a Parker song. It is Till Morning Now. Uh, love that song. That, 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 that's, a, that's a showstopper on stage, speaking of Thank playing you. live. Thank you. That, that's a, how, how long ago did you write that, Devin? Um, dude, probably like two and a half years ago. Yeah, like three that. years ago we released it. What? I don't, a while ago. July of 2018, it came out. Your band what is moving. We wrote it six months before that. That when we wrote that song, we had. Well, when were we in the studio doing it? Recorded it. Uh, that was like what month? I don't know. May? But when we wrote it, it was only me and Pat. I played the drums on that. We didn't have a band, so we wrote that and then pitched it to like to Trevor, and then Dan jumped on for like our second show. So the band was nothing. That song kind of launched the band. Perfect. Now, yeah, yeah. yeah. that song, you know, being two plus years old, it still feels newish to me. But at the rate your band has progressed and evolved, does it feel like it was a million years ago when you put that one together? No, it doesn't. No, it still feels fresh. Yeah, that's awesome. It's still great to play it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's one probably one my funnest, favorite song. Yeah, it's the funnest song to play. Probably. That's awesome. So, all right, so if people want to support your band during this time of pandemic, what do they do? Bandcamp? No, tillmorning.net. There it is. And they can buy hoodies and all kinds of cool stuff? Yeah, you can download um, acoustic versions of our songs for free. Um, for free, you, you get on For free. And you can get on our email list. You can watch the video for OK. You can um, buy merch. Or okay, that Simeon stupid rad got printed for us. So we got some really um, cool merch on there that we're really excited to start getting to people. Yeah. Um, and that's, Pick it that's up. where you can support us. Pick always up today. And on our YouTube, always um, subscribe. We have a lot of new stuff that's continuously going to come out. Um, so subscribe and hit that alerts button so you get those alerts, you know. And uh, Facebook too, share our stuff. And we will Best watch and reviews. appreciate it, and we'll send you some beer sometimes. <laughs> uh, so, Devin, how long have you been dressing like Mickey? Is this a new thing? Is this? I um, since he sold me Pogs in sixth grade. <laughs> yeah, I have a camera set up at, out front of Mickey's house. We all do. See, we'll see what he's wearing every day when he goes and gets the newspaper, and then I put that on and send a picture back. I do, I do notice an eerily amount of blank vans outside my apartment. <laughs> I, I was saying this a, a couple of weeks ago. I want to get one of those 70s like panel vans with a Frank yeah. Frazetta warrior on the side yeah. slaying like a, a like a three-headed dragon with a big old broadsword and a loincloth. I want one of those 70s vans like yeah. shag on the inside. Hell yeah. Yeah. The first, yeah get the like first, a Danny on gets that, it. On that Hell yeah. Spare tire. Yeah. yeah, that's the best. The bubble like window. A white tiger. Yes, yeah. like a white tiger. Yeah, white tiger's tiger's and whether ass. whether you could partake or not, you need at least a fog machine so that when you open the doors, it just rolls out, you know? That's right. Yeah. Yeah, you got to complete the look. I, yeah, yeah. I just imagine the Spicoli rolling out of the van in the morning before school, <laughs> up yeah. on his board. Some bell bottoms. Checkered sleeveless, vans. 
So, all right, here we're, this is going to take some some doing here. We're going to wrap up the Facebook Live. Uh, we 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 got we got to move on here. You, wrap it up. you, you two guys, uh, in the in the upper right corner, uh, representing the the Parker team, uh, Devin and Pat are yeah, going to play. The, I mentioned the song. Okay, you're going to play right here yeah. on the Carquin Carne Facebook page. But we're going to take a break. So we're going to wrap this up, this Facebook Live, and we're going to come back in like five minutes. We're going to let you kind of get organized, get your gear in place, and uh, you're going to perform okay right here, which I think is amazing. And thank you for doing that. Thank you. Thank you for having us, James. Yeah, yeah thanks, man. And thank oh, Will said, don't forget doves flying out when you open the door of the van. Yes. Oh. Bats. That'd be <laughs> No, bat, bats are taboo at, at this point in 2020. Yeah. Nothing, nothing but bees. Too soon. No, bad timing. Too soon yet. <laughs> totally bad timing. bad timing. All right, you are till morning. We'll be back on Facebook Live. Look at that. So too. We'll be here right back. Bad timing. Uh, we'll be back in a couple minutes right here on Facebook Live. Thank you for watching. Uh, Mike Weinberg, real quick, wants to ask how many bands is Mickey in? It's not about the present. It's about the past. The dude's got a, the dude's got a link, LinkedIn how profile. Tell how many truth. how many fingers do you have Tell times four truth. times four mickey is a well-traveled drummer i'm experienced yeah. he's the dude yeah, man in him. demand everyone not, loves mickey i'm not fat i have food experience <laughs> okay so we'll be right back thank you for watching on facebook live <laughs>